Hello, this is Rob. Thanks for tuning in. I'm excited to be building my very first guitar, and I'm doing it in a Gibson Flying V style. I've always loved the body shape ever since I started playing guitar many years ago, and I've always wanted one. Now that I have an X-Carve CNC machine, I figured I could build my own. This video series is primarily a way for me to document the step-by-step -step process of designing a, a guitar in Fusion 360 and routing it out on an X-Carve. Today's video is how I am building the actual V-shaped body. I'll have other videos on designing the neck, the headstock, fretboard, routing out the electronics cavities, the pickup rings, etc., etc. But for today, we're just going to focus on the main body shape. So, without further ado, let's switch over to Fusion 360. Of course, you're going to want to start off with a, a brand new project. Uh, when I'm done with these series, I will try to put these projects out online so that, you know, if you want to skip a step or just want to see how I'm doing things, you can get them. All of this is free. I'm going to be in inches. If you're in millimeters, sorry, you're going to have to do a little bit of conversion. But let's get started. The very first thing we're going to do is create a new component. We're going to put the body as its own component, the neck as its own component, the fretboard, uh, every piece as their own components for organization. So just go ahead and click here for new component, empty component, and we're going to name this guitar body. Now I like to, to do all my sketches from top down. So I just click on top and I'm looking straight down. And we're going to use the origin as kind of our uh, center point for everything. This is where the body of the guitar is going to start and where the neck is going to attach to the body of the guitar. Some people like to go from the nut to start off with the nut and move their scale length down, um, but I'm not everybody. First things first, grab a line. We're going to click the line tool and we're going to draw on this plane. So we're going to click there and start from the origin and come down 13.65 inches. This is just kind of set a reference for us, and we're going to zoom out here a little bit. This isn't part of our geometry, so we can highlight the line, click on it, and hit X. That'll turn it into a construction line so we can just kind of see something. And we don't need this dimension constraint anymore, so we can go ahead and delete that. Now we're going to start here and build the arc, and that's a circle. So you're going to go to circle, two-point circle, click on this point here and come down 1.5 inches. Now we're going to start over here on the wing. And again, we're going to do a circle, but this time we can do a center circle. So you can either go to sketch, circle, center diameter circle, or you can just hit C and draw a 1.5 inch circle over here as well. It doesn't matter where you put it. We're going to move it in just a second. Now we're going to use the distance tool, click on D, I'm going to click on the center of both circles, drag straight up, and we're going to make the 7.6 inches to the right of the center, uh, center line circle. If you click D again, click in the middle, click in the middle there, and we're going to make this 6.315 inches below it. Now we're going to draw some circles towards the origin for the upper parts. Once again, with a center diameter circle, clicking C, just draw somewhere over here, it doesn't really matter where. And this is a 3.935 inch circle. We're going to do the same thing, click D, click on the origin, click on the center of the circle, and we're going to set this one at 3.015 inches to the right. Once again, D, click on the center points, come out here, and we're going to move this 0.598 inches below it. Now we're going to draw another circle, because we seem to like circles. Circle, two-point circle, click on the origin, come straight down, and make a three-inch circle. Okay, now these are all the shapes we're going to need, and now we can connect them with some lines and make the body. So start off down here, grab your line tool, or just click L, and draw a rough line. Click once here, click twice there, hit the OK button, escape out to your on your selection tool, and we're going to make these lines tangent to these circles. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can make sure, see what I'm doing. 
If you do this, you get the little green X saying that it's connected, but you want to keep going until you see the tangent symbol, which is a circle with a line above it. Same thing down here. You want to click here and drag until it becomes tangent. Boom. Now we've connected the arc down to the lower wing. Now, the next thing we're going to do is going to connect these two, but we're going to have to fix this in place so this doesn't move on us because the angle of the line is what's going to be important. So highlight this circle, come over to your sketch palette, and click Fix, and now this circle cannot move. And that's going to be important for what we're about to do right here, which is click L, draw a line, click once, just drag, do not click again, let it loose, and tab over and make sure this is at a 70.7 .7 degrees. The length of this line is not locked, so go ahead and click this part, whatever this was for you, and delete it. That way it doesn't constrain it to a certain uh, length. Now we're going to do the same thing with this point. We're going to click and drag it until it is tangent to this circle. Then we're going to come up here and click and drag this until it meets and you get that green X. There. Now we actually have the shape that we need. We just need to trim off all the excess circle uh, stuff that we don't need. So hit the T tool. And for this circle, we're going to need just this piece that you can see highlighted in red. Everything else goes. So we're going to click that, that, and this. And that's gone. You'll see these little lines here. It's just illustrating what the radius of this is. We don't need this part out here, nor do we need this right here. Come down here. The only part of this we need is this, so we can trim all that away. And for here, we don't need any of this. Now if we zoom out, you can see the, pretty much the shape that we're looking for is here. Hit Escape so you're not on the Trim tool anymore, or just click on Select, and double click to make sure that your line is solid all the way through here. With that, we're going to mirror it to the other side. So hit S to bring up your Sketch Toolbox, type in Mirror, you want this 2D mirror right here. You should have all this selected, if not just double click on the line, it should select it. Then for the mirror line, we're going to use that original construction line we started with and click OK. Now you can see the basic shape that we had. Now a Gibson Flying V is one and a half inches thick, so we're going to extrude this up 1.5 inches. And then you'll see the guitar body. Now if you were to go and route out your pickup and wire cavities from the top and use a face plate, you could just leave it at this. However, I am putting all the electronics in the middle of the guitar, so I have to actually split this into two pieces that can be sandwiched together. And to do that, I'm going to use an offset plane. So I'm going to turn back on my origin here so that I can see it, and I'm going to click construct this construction button, and it's going to create an offset plane, and I'm going to offset it from this plane right here. And I'm going to do it as one inch. What I'm trying to do is have a one inch bottom part of the body and a half inch top part. So now I can turn back off my origin and we're going to use this construction plane again so it's it makes a lot of sense to name it so this is my mid plane because it's kind of the middle of where my guitar is and we're going to split this body. So we're going to go to modify, split body, imagine that. We're going to select this body um, Excuse me. We're going to select this body as the body to split, and then for the splitting tool, we're going to select this right there, that plane we just created, the mid-plane, and hit OK. And if we turn off the mid-plane, you can now see that there are two parts to the body. If you expand bodies, you'll see body one, which is the lower part, so we're just going to name this lower, and the top is top. And there you have it. There is your basic flying V body shape. Um, I think it looks pretty good. The measurements are um, as close as I could get to all the things that I could cobble from the internet. And I will have all these measurements online later. Uh, if you need them sooner, just let me know. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was instructive to a few people. If you're a Fusion 360 expert and you're pulling your hair out going, my God, son, why would you do that? Please let me know. I love constructive criticism. And stay tuned. We'll start building the fretboard, the neck, uh, the, and routing out all the interiors. Um, again, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. And until later, have fun.